Hello everyone, welcome back to my stock channel. So in this tutorial, we are going to see the next one component, which is the icon, and also we are going to see the next one, which is the label. So before starting the topic, just I request you please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification as soon as I do my next videos. Now we will turn towards our next component, which here I have took is a icon. Now, as I told my dear friends, there are much of a difference between the AWT and the swing. A swing is the extended version, and in the swing, what are the components are there? There we can have some of the additional images and colors. First, dark purple we use here icon. Icon is a interface. Just remember here, icon is not a class; it's the interface, and it's encapsulated by the image icon class. That means image icon implements the icon interface okay now here the image icon here are some of the constructor now here image icon here you can pass the image in the form of a file name whatever the name is there of a file you can mention here and add on a particular component the next one here you can specify here you can specify the url of a particular image icon okay so these are the two constructors of the image icon class which implements the icon interface just remember this and next one is the method regarding the image icon now here integer get icon height if i wanted to know the height of a particular icon which i have used to get the height here i can use this method and just remember it will return the height in pixels okay and here it will return the width of that particular icon the next one is a void paint icon. Here contains a four parameter. That means a particular what icon you wanted to paint that you have to mention here X and Y on the graphics contents G. And for the additional information about the paint, you can mention here in component com. So this was regarding the icon that is the constructor. And here are the methods of image icon, which implements the icon interface. Just remember this. Now next we will see of a label. So the now next component which is the J label. In previous we have seen the icon and here we are going to see a J label. As we know label is a passive component. It's when it is called as a J label. And in the previous or the in AWT hierarchy we have seen that component class is the topmost class and under that the subclass are of all the components of controls. Okay. Now here in the same the J label extends J component. Just remember that means J component is the super class of J label. Now here regarding the J label, the constructor and method we are going to see. So on the J label, we can add the text also and also the images. Okay. Now here the first one, the first constructor you can see J label icon. If you wanted to add the images, here you can specify the image. Okay. Here you can specify the image that you have created using a image icon. That means here you have to pass it. Now here the J label string. If you wanted the text, here you can specify the string. So the next one is a J label string icon, and here you have to specify the alignment, whether it's start or the whether it is at the left, right, or a center. Then leading and trailing also there are two concepts that you can specify here. That means here are the three constructors where you can add the icon which is nothing but the image. Here you can also pass the text or you can pass it both and also you can give the alignment as per your requirement. And the next one is the method. Now here if I wanted to know the icon, which icon is there. So here I can use this method that is get icon and the written type is icon. Now the next one is a get text. Sorry here it will be a string. So yes here it will be a string get text text if i wanted to know what exactly is the text on the j label so here i can use this method that is get text now here void set icon using this method also i can use if suppose you are using this constructor and if you wanted to set the text here using the method you can set the text or you are using the second one constructor here you can specify the set icon you can set the icon to a j level so this was regarding the j level constructor and the methods if you have any kind of question you can mention in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video thank you